Monday, everyone. It's Kimberly Beer here with one thing you can do this week to better market your business. So in today's Make It Happen Monday, I want to talk to you about a really fun, very creative project you can do around your marketing to really help you be able to hone in on your customer avatar. Now the whole week, or sorry, the whole month of February has been devoted to really getting to know your customers and your target market. And we've talked about this in some really unconventional ways. We've talked about interviewing our customers. We've talked about creating a customer avatar. Well, this week we're gonna take the information that we've gleaned from those interviews and from the customer avatar story that we did, and we're gonna compound that into a really fun artistic project known as a collage. So you've done this, I'm sure, at some point in time in your life. You've taken a whole group of pictures and glued them or taped them onto a larger board and created a sort of hodgepodge or collective, um, a visual collective of whatever it is that you want to represent. In this case, it's going to be your customers, your customer avatar your customers that you've learned about from your interviews. Now, if you haven't been playing along all month, it's okay. This exercise you can complete without necessarily having interviewed your customers or without having done the avatar exercise. If it's something that doesn't speak to you, like you're one of those folks who just doesn't like the artsy projects and is not super tactile, please listen to the exercise because maybe you can form a mental picture just from getting an idea of what you you might do if you did this. The whole point is, is that I want you to really think about your customers and your customers from their perspective. As marketers, we tend to really focus our marketing on collecting sales for our businesses. And that is that is part of what it needs to happen. But in order to do that, there is sort of that catch-22 in that the marketing really has to be about your customer. Otherwise, it doesn't attract them, which doesn't convert into sales. So learning how to attract your customer, learning how to make your marketing about your customer it really does help your bottom line. Now that's not to say that you should make it all about your customer and a nothing about selling or sales. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that if you focus your marketing message on what really speaks to your customer, the sales will come. It's, it is a time-honored, proven technique for being able to get customers into your business and then once you get them there, to keep them there long-term. The key though, if you're gonna make something about your customer, is to really know them inside and out. And that's what I have been trying to get folks to do all month this month, is really get to know their customer inside and out. And this exercise with the customer collage is, is the same type of thing. It's just a very visual representation so that when you go to create your marketing, you can pull out your collage board and put it on your desk um, or on the wall and so people can or so you can see it and direct directly to the people that you created the board around so in order to do this exercise you're going to need a couple of things so go to hobby lobby or michael's and get yourself a poster board um, or the like it can be foam board it can be whatever you want it to be i prefer something stiff so that and fairly large i like ones that are like three by six or three by two by three um, or three by five so that I can really um, have a lot of room to post in a lot of imagery. I have also done these digitally. In other words, I've taken Photoshop and I've collaged together images on a Photoshop file and then just printed it out on my printer as well. So there's a multitude of ways you can go about actually creating the collage. So if digital speaks to you more than the tactile of having the poster board, then feel free to do that as well. The way I like to go about this, and you don't have to do it the way that I do it, you can find all kinds of imagery around your customer, the things that they have in their life in a, in a whole bunch of different avenues. But for me, I like to go to the bookstore and bookstores are dying. Hey, it, it's, it's an end of an era for all of us in so many ways. And so Barnes and Noble is still around and chances are there's ones close to you. So support your local Barnes and Noble head over there and the one in our community has a gigantic magazine section 
And so when I'm going and I'm thinking about my customers and I wanna create marketing projects or we're starting into a new year with a new vision, I tend to go stand in front of the magazine um, rack a lot. And I think about who my customers are, my customer avatar, and I pick out magazines that I think that that customer would be attracted to. Now our customers are entrepreneurs, so those are gonna to tend to come from the business side of things. And it gives me a really good concept of the imagery that they're used to looking at and the things that they're used to seeing so that I can know how to pull on that or how to push myself away from it so that it's unique and different. So it's a really good exercise to get to know what your customers are taking a look at. The same would work if you were selling a product um, into a specific industry. Let's say you're selling a product that people use in their homes. So think about your target market, think about what magazines those people would be reading, and then go pull those magazines off the rack. Again, people aren't reading as many magazines in their lives as these days, but they do see those same images, that same connection in the digital files, in, in what's being presented to them on webinars. So it's the same information. All of those companies are, are pushing in front of them. So you get a really good idea of what other people are trying to communicate to your target market, as well as get the things that those bigger companies and the, the bigger picture people are really reaching into your customers' lives with and what your customers are attracted to. So go back home. Now, another thing you can do is you can search the internet. You can do some Google searches on things that you think your avatar has in their life and print those out. And words and feelings are also really important in this. I am I am a big proponent of words and particularly when it comes to words that you're gonna use as keywords and phrases and things that really reach your customers at both a very logical level and a heart level. So print those out, cut them out, um, type them up, just collect a whole bunch of stuff that you feel is pertinent to your avatar things they have in their home, what kind of cars do they drive, what do their kids do, what are their values, what are their dreams, what's their vision, and use the words and feelings particularly that you've learned from your interview process as well as creating your avatar story that your avatar would use to describe your business. And then take all of those things and create a collage of the words and images on the poster board. Now here's the key, you're gonna use that when you're creating your marketing. Pull it out, put it next to your computer or next to wherever you're writing your, your marketing text or wherever you're picking stock images or if you're gonna hire a photographer, it's a good thing to have that say, this is the person we're trying to attract. The important thing is to have fun and to be truly creative with this project so that you really get to know your customer on a very deep level. and you'll start to see common threads. You'll see threads in color schemes. You'll see threads in shapes. You'll see threads in words. You'll see threads in feelings. And you'll be able to use and pull on those threads inside of your marketing. And it just makes things so much nicer when you go to create marketing and advertising. And it also helps keep you focused on that point of that this is about your customer and not about you when you're placing marketing out in front of them. Once you have the collage and your customer story, you have some interviews, then you can put this avatar that you've been working on all month to work. When you're creating your marketing, you can speak directly to them. You can use words and phrases that will attract them and really, really make an impact in their lives. And it really will shift in many ways the way you think about marketing. Now, I just wanna go back to the interview process for a moment. If you haven't done that at this point, and you can find your way clear to do it, I swear you will not be sorry. It is probably one of the more enlightening experiences that you will have within your business. And the more customers that you can interview, I challenged you guys with just seven, but if you interview 14 or 20 or how many ever you can find yourself free to do, you will glean a lot of information that you'll be able to utilize in your marketing moving forward and it will get more effective just because you will be speaking so directly to your target market.
Thank you for tuning in this week. I'll see you next Monday.